Yo guys, what's poppin? It's time for shopping. Back at it with another Modern Warfare franchise store video. This one's gonna be for July 17th. Guys, we set a new record today on the channel for latest item shop video upload, and that's gonna be a six hour late upload. I do apologize, man. Had a super busy day today. It's been super busy lately. Like everything was super slow for a while, and then I'm just busy, busy, busy. So I do apologize. Um, I also wanted to ask you guys, we're going to have some new kind of content coming here on the channel, not any new game, it's going to be Modern Warfare, but we're going to be doing some Warzone challenges, so if you guys have any idea, anything you want to see, leave it in the comments, I'm thinking kind of along the lines of like one chest and then just ground loot, or just common weapons, or you know, only submachine guns, stuff like that, we're going to start doing that, getting some more gameplay here on the channel, so if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments, but since the video was late today, I want to kind of satisfy your guys' needs. We're not going to take a look at any of the recycled content. We're going to do that in two days when the shop updates again, then we'll take a full look at it. Today, since I was so late, I'm only going to show you guys the brand new content and get you out of here so you don't have to wait around and see all the filler crap. So we have Sid Rogue Operative. Let's check this one out, man. This one looks... Wow. Dude, this thing looks mean. This thing looks sick. This skin for Sid, I like this one a lot. This one is dope. The little incendiary grenade that pops. That incendiary pops. I like this skin a lot. This skin looks awesome for Sid. Then we have the mortal coil. This looks like it's for the Graw. Muzzle break. Got the drifter barrel on there with the built in foregrip. You got the Viper reflex. Not the worst. And then you got the strike light stock. Um, the magazine I almost thought was a 50 rounder, but it's not. Just a regular one. So you could put another mag on there. You could put some grip tape if you wanted. Honestly, I think it looks really good with that red and black. I mean, I think this is a decent looking blueprint and it might actually be a nice little submachine gun variant if you put some stipple grip tape on there get yourself a little more i mean honestly since you are using the drifter maybe rubberized i don't know you guys have to play around with it but honestly seems all right it doesn't seem terrible so we got a watch here this looks sick we've had a couple designs like this um but i like this design like not like in design as the watch design but like the color scheme of the design fits really well that's probably the best way to say what I was trying to say. I like the color scheme on it. I've always been a huge carbon fiber fan and anything that kind of remotely gives me any sort of carbon fiber vibes, I typically seem to like it. So that's kind of where I'm at on that one. We have snake oil. This is dope. I like this. I think the trucks get a lot of good skins. I mean, the anime one was cool. I mean, all the truck skins I think are pretty decent. Then we have Deadlands and Cold Blood. So that's going to be 1500 for this skid, uh, skid, SID bundle. Can't talk today. I can never talk lately. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. 1500 on that one. Let me know if you guys are picking that one up. And then we have some old stuff being rotated through. But like I said, we're going to skip that today to keep you guys happy. We got Puddle of Blood. That just sounds terrible. Devil's Food. Okay. That's actually, a, I kind of like that sticker. I think it's kind of cool. Evil Woman. That That's terrifying. Uh, and you have Lady of the Lake. That's also kind of scary. So we have Cruel Mistress for the SA87 Compensator, Ranger Foregrip, Rubberized Grip Tape, and the Combat Hollow. Like the blueprint attachments. That's cool. Not really feeling the tan on the bottom of the attachments that we got here. Bottom of the foregrip, the grip tape area, and on our magazine. Not really feeling that tan, but otherwise like it. Not terrible. And we have Blood Rights. So we got the Uzi. Close Quarter Stock, Candid Hybrid, Tac Laser, FSS Carbine Pro, which is the one you would have to unlock if you haven't. And then you have the Monolithic Suppressor. So a couple things about this class here is I've actually used an Uzi with the Candid Hybrid going for my long shots when getting Damascus. And I, didn't, I, I just couldn't use it. There's too much recoil. So probably take that off, put in the... 41 AE rounds if you don't have them unlock them it is worth the grind um, just put in the 41 AE rounds and this would be a phenomenal class I would recommend this class with the AE rounds and take off that site and you're good to go it'll be great got to trust me on that but 1400 for that one cosmetically this one doesn't look nearly as bad you know that tan kind of fits in on the grip of the weapon and there's not really any tan anywhere else so it looks okay to me personally let me know what you guys think but um, sorry for the super late upload once again. That's going to do it for today. If you guys did enjoy, man, leave a like. 
Subscribe if you're new. Check out the sponsors and equipment in the description below. It's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm out.